It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Brian C. Payne, who is an assistant professor at UNO for finance, banking and real estate. So Brian, today's question is, how does one plan financially for the future in the midst of a pandemic or other major global catastrophes? Thank you, Brandon, for that great question. I'm happy to provide some thoughts about planning financially for the future during times that are particularly stressful, such as the current pandemic. It's an important thing to use today's circumstances as a poignant reminder of the value of planning. As some individuals and companies are currently realizing when catastrophe hits, it's too late to plan. We're left to execute the plan that we created in the past. So we're well served to use the current challenges as a prompt for doing some planning for the next time that a financial shock may occur. Because it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. We looked at history, we had the tech bubble burst at the turn of the century, we had the 2008, 2009 Great Recession, now we've got the global pandemic of 2020. So we're having these about every decade in the recent history. Some things we can do to plan for the future, we can establish an emergency fund. Financial planners recommend saving anywhere from three to six months worth of expenses in an easily accessible account, such as a savings account, just for instances such as the one we're experiencing. These emergency funds would also help in a different, yet personally catastrophic scenario, such as a job loss or an unexpected health issue. Now, obviously it can be difficult to save right now at this very moment if we've lost our job or had our hours cut recently, but thankfully the government in the recent times has stepped in to provide some unemployed benefits and some insurance in that case. Additionally, from a regional perspective, Nebraska thankfully has one of the lowest unemployment rates, if not the lowest of all the states in the country. We're seeing evidence that Americans are exhibiting some prudent and good financial behaviors recently as the personal savings rate has hit the highest level in 45 years and credit card balances have gone down substantially. Next, besides having an emergency fund, the current circumstances allow individuals and families to focus on their budgets identifying the required basic living expenses, contrasting those with nice to have items. By sacrificing some nice to have items, we can free up funds for the emergency savings described earlier. But perhaps more importantly, we can create a financial lifestyle shift whereby we as individuals and families learn what's really important in our lives and how to find joy and meaning while living within or under our means. Besides the importance of an emergency fund and budgeting, Unfortunately, the grim outcomes of the present pandemic have highlighted the importance of estate planning. Along this theme, it's important to have some key documents prepared in the event the worst case occurs. For example, having a current will, a durable power of attorney, healthcare power of attorney, perhaps a trust, and finally looking into having some life insurance that can help alleviate challenges that our dependents can face should we be gone. If you'd like to learn more, UNO has the Keys Financial Literacy Series, you can always explore the resources at unomaha.edu. I appreciate you letting me share these thoughts. Of course, go Mavericks. Thank you, Brian, for sharing your expertise. And for our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts. Submit your question at newschannelnebraska.com. Access the experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.